Hi guys, today I'm gonna share with you six upgrades you must do when you have a new Ender 3. In my opinion, first thing to do is a fan cover. Because a lot of plastic uh, while printing can go down the electronics and damage the electronics. That's why we have to make a fan cover to protect the electronics down there. While the screen cable is hanging out, I printed some clips to let it stick to the frame and not be like hanging out anymore. After that, I realized that there is a lot of place between the y-axis and the screen. And if you know me well, you know that I am so organized and I don't like to throw things around. So, I printed this drawer where I can put all my stuff like all my screwdrivers and USB adapter and everything I need to 3D print. After I 3D print the drawer, I realized that my spatula doesn't fit in. So, I printed another thing, a spatula hoarder, where I can put my spatula here. And now my desk is clean and I have an easy access for all the tools that I use while I'm 3D printing. And also, I highly recommend to print a cover for the back of the LCD display because all the electronics are exposed and it's so easy to have a short or to get electrocuted. So I printed this cover where you use the screw factory and you don't have to buy other screws. I will put all the links to the things that I print in the description. So last thing I print is the extruder knob. I think all the 3D printer should have one of these. I printed an extruder knob with a ballet dancer on it. So when the extruder turn, the ballet dancer turn and it get like really funny. Look what I got, look what I got, see? She's fully dressed, right? Right. And then, and then you click it, and uh-oh, she naked. <laughs> Two problem I had with this, the first one that I break it while I'm pulling out the support, and the second one when I re-hot glue it back, when it turned, it touched the lead, the, the lead screw. So what I did, I scale it down for 60%, I reprint the ballet dancer, and now I re-glue it on the knob and it is hilarious to watch while 3D printing. I always feel when I swap filament that there is a small piece of plastic wasted. I have to cut it down before I put the filament back, like this, because it's like bended and I cannot use it again. So what I did is a filament holder so I can put the filament in it and it stick. I don't need to put it back in the holes uh, with the spool. I really don't have to waste any filament anymore. I just have one complaint to make. It's the Z-axis. Actually, when I first assembled the printer, I had a problem with the Z-axis. It makes really bad sounds. It makes weird sounds. I searched on the internet and there is a lot of people from the community having the same problem with the z-axis. So I printed uh, z-axis spacers. I put them around the motor. Well, they didn't really work. I think the problem is the lead screw is not parallel to the frame. So there is a lot of solution. The community recommend for for this thing for example hammering the angle which is holding the lead screw or making spacers what creality recommend is to loosen up the knots around the bearing which holding the lead screw well that's what i did in the end but to be fair, I'm not really satisfied with that. It still has this weird sound when I move the Z-axis. So I... yeah... So I complain. In the last 10 days, I had just one failed print while I was printing Legos. And it came out like this. It's delaminated. 
We will talk about 3D printing Legos in the next video. But other than that, I didn't have any particular problem. In the end, I have to say that it's my first 3D printer to own and assemble, but I do have 3D printing experience for several years. Without this experience, I couldn't get along with the Ender 3. It requires some experience to build, to analyze the dysfunctionment and to repair them. That's why I don't really recommend it for people who don't have 3D printing experience at all. It's not a pleasant play printer, but if you know how to play with it, it's so fun to play with. Let me know in the comment section below what upgrades you would like to do to your 3D printer. And yeah, I'm getting better in, in Instagram, so uh, follow me at Hadi underscore the rules underscore HD. You will see stories about what I am making before releasing the videos. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.